Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this collective reading. Today I'm going to be talking about this energy that has come in a very intense form to me. Here I can pick on to a person who has, who has been targeted by a lot of people, who has gone through a lot and there was a phase where this person was standing alone and there were many people who were pointing their fingers at this person. I think this person has been in this situation for many times. Like people have ganged up against you many, many times and people have sort of written you off like you cannot do this, you cannot do that. It's not something that you're capable of doing. And I sense a huge amount of narcissism, narcissistic energy that has been opposing you. I also sense someone you were in love with, someone who also said that they love you. But when the time came, when they had to, when they should have stood up for you, taken a stand for you, shown you their loyalty, especially their love and loyalty to you, that's the time this person went away from you and they rejected you in a way that they should not have rejected you. And this person is watching you. In this collective reading, I would like to say that kindly only pick up the things that resonate, scrap anything else that you don't resonate with. Do mark your attendance for this collective reading. Wherever you are from, do mention I am present and your physical location. Those who can, you can sponsor this content for everybody else in the collective by becoming my Patreon. Whosoever I'm channeling, you are a person, you did not get your due credit. You did not get the justice when you should have gotten the justice. And for a long time, you were a person, you were also so innocent that you really could not figure out who was your friend and who was your enemy. You probably were surrounded by a lot of frenemies, people who would act like your friend, but inside they were your enemies. They did not want you to grow. They did not want you to do well. They did not want you to excel in life. So they would very subtly and in a very manipulative way, they would damage you. Or I can sense their gossiping energy, the backbiting energy. So I feel that whosoever I'm channeling today is a person who has gone through these situations in life, uh, someone who's very hardworking, someone who, who is also very honest, also a person who has a lot of protection and guidance from the higher realm. And the reason why you have been going through these situations is not because you're a bad person or you're getting punished. It's simply because the masters, the higher energies, want you to get a really good character development. And at the same time, I'm being shown that they want you to share your gifts with the world. You are here to do something really amazing on this planet. You're here to heal this planet. And you cannot heal this planet until and unless you have learned all the lessons fully. I mean, it's not easy to be a healer. And I can say that from my own experience. There are so many psychic attacks that happen on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes. I have to do my healing every day. In the morning, I sit, meditate. So from my personal experience, I can say that some exercises you have to do every day. But those exercises are very powerful exercises. And you have to deal with these narcissistic people, these mean, selfish people that I'm being shown around your periphery who try to pull you down. They try to bring you down. They try to play with your heart. They try to play with your mind. They try to play with your heart. And they really hurt you. I can see that in the past you have cried so many times. You were all alone. You felt so much lack of confidence, lack of inner security. You always knew that you had gifts and talents and skills. But these people, their words. And then when this person who really mattered to you, who you really trusted, when this person rejected you for a very stupid materialistic reason, it really broke your heart. You went through a lot of pain. And I'm being shown over here that you use this pain. You use this pain and you made it your strength. And the same person who had rejected you is now looking at you 
in awe and wonder. Yes, this person is stalking you, this person is looking at you from a distance, this person is regretting how they treated you, all the things, but you have the memory, you still remember. Like, see, some people, you can, you know, just say, okay, fine, they were innocent and stupid and they did not know. Some situations you can be like, fine, I want to let it go, it's okay. But some people are so vile and so vicious that you feel really lucky and blessed that you are no longer around them or they are no longer around you. In fact, when you started healing and turning your pain into your power, you actually realized that it was a really good thing that this person rejected you. Because this rejection has actually given you a huge amount of protection. Had you been around this person, had you been with this person, you would have really been in a worse situation. And God did not want that. So for your own protection and to make you see or make you learn, the reality of some venomous people, the type of people exist on this planet, all are not on the divine path. Many are walking on the path of ego and many are... They may not openly say it, but they are worshipping the devil, they are worshipping the Satan. They don't want to show it to you, but yes, they are. Their lifestyle will tell you. And they cannot let go of their lifestyle. They know that they are doing wrong things. They know very well, but they are not going to show it to the world. They are going to pretend to be very saintly and very angelic. And you are actually saintly and angelic person. So you don't need to pretend it. So when they hang out with you, when they talked with you, when they were spending time with you, your energy was triggering them. They wanted you to be like them, but they were in turn becoming like you and they did not want that. They did not want to leave their sinful life behind because they were all into pleasure, so much pleasure seeking they were into. You're not the person, you're not a person like that. You're not a person who's so much into flesh and body and gluttony, unnecessary spending money, unnecessary show off. You're not like them, they're very fake people. So how you learned, you maybe also learned that when they backstabbed you, when this person backstabbed you or a group backstabbed you, when they backstabbed you and they were enjoying, they were living their life, you realize that your absence did not bother them at all. Your absence did not create any feeling in their hearts that they miss you or they spend so much time with you, they appreciate you. In fact, even when you were with them, you were just somebody they were using. This person was using you for their entertainment. You realize that your presence also never really mattered to them. You were not so important for them. And this was the changing point. This was the place where you shifted. This was the place where you realized that you were giving them so much love, affection, so much concern, you were giving them all your energy, you were trying to do everything to make them happy. But these people were just energy sucking vampires. And you're very glad that you're out of their life. You don't want to chase anybody. It doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how much money you make, but you don't want to chase anything or anyone. And maybe when you were with those people, you were chasing their affection. You were chasing, like you were making plans. You were the one who cared for everything. You wanted everything to be prim and proper, but they were just sitting and enjoying the luxuries. They were enjoying, you know, like their time. These are not responsible people. These are not real people. I'm talking about all of those energies that I can pick on around all the people who can resonate with this one. I'm also able to pick on to the energy that you have been going through a transformative, a transformative process. And this pain, this whole turning your pain into something bigger, transmutation of your pain into something bigger has not been easy for you. You have been evolving a lot, but it was a difficult journey. There were moments of joy, there were moments of epiphanies, there were moments of lesson seeking and understanding lessons so that kind of helped you, that put you on the path, that made you, that made you feel like, okay, you're doing something right. However, the star 
the star energy came into your life after you had learnt somehow to cultivate self love and self worth you probably been healing yourself maybe you seeked some support maybe you went into therapy or counseling or you were watching some kind of content you were meditating i mean you you are either still figuring out ways to heal yourself or you are in the process but you are much better than where you were cuz these energies around you they kept they kept breaking you down okay so you learn to channel your pain into purpose you may be connected with your purpose you may be connected with your uh likes and dislikes and one more thing i was shown today when i was channeling this one when i was getting this download that you also learn to separate the negative voices from the positive voices like in one day you felt like you can nowadays realize you're so aware you know that you're listening to a negative voice so you could be either in the process of developing a methodology or you could be in the process of seeking support for this or you are already on the path but you are now a person who knows that this pain that has been given to you it's not a bad thing something is going to come out of it something already is coming out of it there is a churning process that's going on but you don't want to be with people who don't appreciate your presence when you're gone they don't give a shit like they don't care their life is running smooth and normal if you're gone from their energy field or their physical field their periphery they probably not even call you or message you then why the hell should you bother so much about them even mentally there was a time you were trying to do everything physically but now you realize that you don't want to do it even mentally or emotionally you don't want to think about them but you don't also want to wish anything negative for anyone this is very important you've reached a point where you realize that when we wish or when we pray to god that this person hurt me and they should go through something bad they should have a bad experience too then we are giving the demonic forces a platform till you realize that it's a very big thing when someone hurts you someone does bad to you or you remember them you think about them then instantly you say okay may god bless them too may they learn their lessons like something positive you say like in hindi we say give them sadbuddhi sadbuddhi means wisdom even for ourselves we must pray to god whenever we think about something negative that someone has done to us whenever we get very angry or upset we must instantly say things like god please make me strong god please make me positive right now i'm feeling very negative i don't want to be this type of person i want to be a better person i want to be a nicer person i want to not be attached with these energies please detach me from these energies god please cut my cords from these energies which make me feel bad about who i am god please be with me please protect me please care for me god give me your love and you know instantly you feel the energy shifts because praying is not about asking for materialistic things or asking for other people to get punished because they hurt you i mean we should just let them be so whosoever's energy i'm picking on you are learning these things or you resonate a lot with these things you were probably not in resonance with such things sometime back but now you do so this is where i'm going to close this channeling session you guys can get into a personal reading or therapy with me i will see you in the next video all important links are given in the description box and you can get my book only on amazon kindle where you get the latest edited version one love peace out and victory to ram